Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Agent Carter. We are on season two, episode four, where last time on Whitney Frost touched someone and absolutely just like destroyed them, made some black ooze just bleh, came out of them, covered the whole body and then like sucked them up. I don't even know, turned them into a black hole basically. So that was a little weird. We've got Thompson getting closer to Chadwick in the arena club. So maybe he'll do something in there. I don't know. Wilkes is also confirmed alive. He's just in like a ghostly form and someone's after Peggy trying to kill her as well, which has, he has a hole through his hand. So I'm sure that'll be pretty obvious whenever they find him because he thinks he was in disguise, but no, if he walks around with that hole in his hand, I feel like we're gonna find him pretty easily. But yeah, that's where we're at. I have no idea what like Peggy or anyone's main objective is right now. Just getting dirt on the arena club, on Chadwick, on Whitney Frost, trying to prove the corruption and evil going on in Aes Sedai, I guess. I don't know, but I guess we'll figure it out. Let's hop into the episode. Leave a like if you've been enjoying Agent Carter on the channel. Check out any other playlists down below. Offer your thoughts on the episode once it's over down in the comments. Subscribe, we're on the road to 20,000 subs in 2024. And let's hop into the episode. Mom with Elizabeth Carter. Yeah, her brother. Oh, sorry. I'm starved. <laughs> that is weird. I don't have any sense of my body at all. Actually, I'm numb. It's disconcerting. It's weird. Phantom kiss. I don't know. Still, it must be very frustrating. You have. <laughs> they wanna. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Does he feel love? He seems like he does. Just no physical feelings. Which could get awkward when he feels his love. A package has just arrived for you. Where would you like it? In here. Maybe I we'll said, uh, vanity is fine. Why has he got holes in it? Something alive in there? Rats. Oh, to experiment on. Or to absorb, or... Yeah, maybe she wants to grow her power and she needs to absorb things. Chadwick for U.S. Senate. I feel like Wilkes should run. Well, <clears throat> imagine a ghost running for Mr. the Senate. Chadwick. Ah, oh, is it the hole? It's got the same wound yeah. on that attack the other day. <laughs> Jarvis. The Chadwicks appear to have built quite a formidable. They couldn't have made you that that this stupid that, this season. I trust you've operated a tranquilizer rifle before? I can't say that I have. Oh, Why dang. have you? On occasion, wrangling Mr. Stark's animal preserve requires a ruthless hand. I thought I was going to say Not wrangling Mr. Stark. The koala. Its adorable appearance belies a vile temperament. Okay. What's your feelings on committing a felony, Mr. Jarvis? In this case, decidedly four. <laughs> Oklahoma 1920. Is this little, uh, Frost? Hello, darling. Oh. No. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, sugar. I'll be uh, if you don't feel as firm as you look. Uh, sugar, I've been looking uncle? Uh, uncle? Would you smile for your Uncle Bud? Uncle Bud. Because I'm thinking. Of ways to kill him? I feel like I recognize who plays the mom here. Zero matter experiment. Number one. Does she have to be angry or something? He's gonna see those rats. They're, those are making noise. Kenneth likes a drink. I wouldn't be surprised if they found him floating in the reservoir. Hush, don't say that. That'd be Worse. terrible for the campaign. <laughs> That'd be terrible for the campaign. <laughs> uh. He asked if you could wear the white dress tonight. You know, the one with the... Uh, the neckline. neckline. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one I was going to pick. And put your hair up. Do not move her hair. She just sucks him up. Well, let me kiss your forehead. Let me kiss your forehead. No. 
It's like a claw machine going in to grab someone to kill. The claw just grabs the rats hanging on. Uh oh, did it bite her? Now ah, she's mad. Oh. But um, but um, but um. Oh my gosh. Did your cut grow? Looks mostly the same. It only grew a little. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I would stop that. You got a show to do tonight. It would be terrible for the campaign. Come out right now with your hands up! <laughs> I knew that was Jarvis's voice. <laughs> Remember me, Mr. Hunt. That's loud. Oh, for heaven's sake, that's enough to take down a rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> How is he st what? How is he winning? Jarvis, back up. I should have heard the gunshot. That should work. Maybe you didn't hit him in the right spot? I don't know. What? <gasps> Did he just stab him with the tranquilizer? Stubbs, you're right. Oh. It Jarvis. won't harm him. Jarvelous. Yo, what is this show? <laughs> Jarvelous. <laughs> He's just sleeping in there. Thompson called. Mm -hmm. He approved your yeah. vacation days. <laughs> uh, that face is perfect. Oh my gosh, he's awake in the trunk. We caught a possum on this property earlier this morning. Vicious little creature. <laughs> it's a felony. A felony? I can't even harsh. believe you. What were you thinking? I was doing the best I could in that opportunity. Well, I'll sleep better if you stop pushing me away. And let me help you. Yeah, let him help. Look, you're going to smack me around or break a couple fingers. Scare him with the bad. ghost. Because while you were playing grab ass on the continent, I was already playing this game with the Japanese. They took these fingers and tied them to a jeep, and dragged me around in circles. Ah, okay. People on your side have a line you just can't cross. I meant to say we're not going to talk to you because we don't have time. <laughs> just threatened to kill him. What is this flashback? Yeah, congratulations in order. Yes, I'm to be married. Lovely. Well, I hope you are ready for another proposal. What's SOE? Special Operations Executive. It's a new war division spearheaded by Winston Churchill himself. And they need a codebreaker. Codebreaker? Good heavens now. They're being tasked to train field agents in irregular warfare. But need people who won't draw attention walking down the street. They need women. Who was her fiance? I'm afraid I'm simply not cut out for that kind of work. <laughs> cut to this. Virulent strain developed from an avian parasite by Stark Industries. There is an antidote, but if you refuse to talk, why should I give it to you? I'm sure you'll need some Stark time to mull over. Does probably the scare him. The toxin's effects become fatal in 20 minutes. I'll be back in 10. Oh. That is crazy. Is it fake or actually real? Howard wanted to create a cure for the common cold. He came up with a compound that brings on intense symptoms in minutes. Mm. You gave him a cold. An intense cold. <laughs> but he doesn't know that. How does Howard come up with something to fix something, but it causes it? Yo, everything goes wrong. I want to make midnight oil. I think it's going to help people um, sleep or stay awake or whatever. Actually... It makes them all rip each other's eyes out. I want to create a vest that keeps people warm. And then you blow up. An intense cold actually is fatal. Why can I not name this actress? I definitely know her though. Come here. Mama. No one cares what's in your head. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'd fix on this. This is the only thing that's going to get you anywhere in this world. That is pretty awful. Yo, know, we're watching Jessica Jones and this, and in both, they have a mom like that that treats a daughter who's pursuing acting like that. Yikes. She is now pursuing her true passion. 
One uh. name, Hunt. Let's just start with one name. Please. Roxon, I've had the pleasure. <laughs> Give me the antidote Roxon. now. Not until we finish our conversation, then you'll be clear and free to do it. Free? I'll never be free again. Not after this. Storage room. At the club. The Council of Nine. That's what they're called. They record their meetings, you'll see. Everything you want to know about Calvin Chadwick and the rest of his crowd, it's on those tapes. Times All right. N to the power of P. Yes, thank you. Wonderful. What does it mean? <laughs> I'm back at square one. Well, uh... Why don't we step away from the task for a moment? Maybe Is that gonna suck off. him in further? Dr. Wolf, are you quite well? Is this time coming to an end? What? What? What is it? The FBI? Ah. Uh. You Chief Sousa? Yeah, who wants to know? The man who signs your time cards. Vernon Masters. War this guy's so annoying. Do for you? Well, let's start by putting these shotguns away. They're making this situation a bit more tense than it needs to be. So we're about to conduct a raid on the arena. Let's put car. that on the back burner. The War Department <laughs> has decided to <laughs> Oh my gosh. This branch's cases, past and present. This is outrageous. They're so annoying. They're actually ruining it all. Yeah, she knows. This guy's corrupt. How are you enjoying your vacation, Agent Carter? Vigorously. Jack Thompson thinks very highly of you. He says that you're quite the independent thinker. I'm sure he meant that as an insult. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Bring him in. I'd like to vet him personally. Chief Sousa and the rest oh, of He wants him dead. As a CI. That's more than sufficient for a warrant. Not this time. Who is he? <laughs> You're refusing to reveal his identity? Call it independent thinking. Say someone else random that you know is in the club too. <laughs> it's Chadwick. This guy's ruining everything this season. Yeah, that's the star is going down. Yikes. I was recruited to be a spy. <laughs> <laughs> we turned them down, of course. Mm. Did we? Can you imagine risking life and limb behind enemy lines doing God knows what? That, that's not our peg. It's probably Michael's, though. He knows her better. Because I recommended you. Ah. Michael. Yeah, her life could have been so different. That's crazy. Peggy, I know you better than anyone else alive. And this isn't what you want. What is it that you think I want? The same thing you've wanted since you were a little girl. A life of adventure. You are meant to fight. Stop pretending to be someone that you're not. Dang, Michael MVP, actually. Changed her whole life. What is that? Tissue sample from Jane Scott's autopsy. I convinced Dr. Samberly to misplace it. Told him I put in a good word for him with Rose. You are brilliant. On your feet. Move! Talking's done. Council's on to us. We can't risk you. So you want him to take the gun from him? Why is he acting extra wobbly, like weaker? Look, if you're gonna shoot me, you might as well go ahead and do it right here, because I'm done marching. Yeah, he wants him to knock him out. <laughs> okay. Well, that went well. Yeah. I still don't know why I had to take a punch. Did the gun put a tracker on him or something? Oh, it's just on down there. This could take a while. The drink sounds pretty good right about now. They're gonna hear him get sucked up or something. Does she get. Did she break up with this dude on their wedding day? Where is my blasted handkerchief? Right on the SOE letter. She's kept it. Oh, did Michael die or something? Maybe. That that's what changes her. Yeah, for oh my gosh. That makes a lot of sense. Michael. Aw. Does she not tell her fiance or anything? Just leaves? It's as if Something is, is calling me. Pulling me away. Pulling you away to where? I don't know. Is it to Whitney Frost? To just... Let go. He's trying really hard to stay. 
Peggy Carter. She kidnapped me. Kidnapped? Yeah, she shot me with a tranquilizer gun. What the hell does she think she is? What did she you tell her? That's what she cares about. Uh oh. What? She's gonna kill him. Did you tell her? Chadwick is not the super bad guy here. It's her. It's dying. I mean, that's been obvious right. for like three episodes now, but. What did you say? Uh, <laughs> she's closing she the blinds me. back there. The curtains. Son of a bitch. She's about to unleash on him. I have to show you something. Whitney, I uh oh. Something here. <laughs> the fact that they're all listening makes it so much better. The mistakes can be fixed. Whitney, what are you doing? Whitney, what is this? <laughs> Whitney, Whitney, stop! Stop! <laughs> Dang. Ah, uh, I wish they could see it. Huh. Free this ticket. Oh my. You know, I bet you're real pretty when you smile. Oh gosh. Even an actress in one of those pictures. What do you think? Okay, yeah. Uh. That sounds real interesting. Fantastic. Agnes Coley? Well, that'll have to change. Why? Because you need a name as pretty as you are. That's the beauty of Hollywood. You can be whatever you want. Agnes Coley is a cool name. Okay, I, I get why she uh has a lot of issues. Fixing another one of your problems. <sighs> what are you? Whatever I want. Alright, Whitney has been fully unleashed. Yo, what is she eventually gonna like turn into if that keeps growing on her? I feel like it's not just gonna grow and turn into something i feel like it's she's cracking and then she's eventually just gonna like open up or fully break i guess man though this season there is a lot of powerful people messing with the ssr messing with like we have like perfect plans going on about a raid the arena club and then the stupid government shows up the government guy who's a part of the arena club a part of isodyne knows about all of the secrets uh we got a lot of whitney frost agnes coley backstory this episode about how hard her life has been this whole time, how she's been treated by other people. Um, so I could just see why she's the way she is, but I still don't feel a bad for her since she does so much awful stuff. A lot of time that can sometimes make you really feel for a character. But it's not working here with Whitney for some reason because we also have seen that all last season with Peggy, the way she's treated by other men. And she's still living a perfectly fine life, not absorbing people into a black hole that's a different mindset of peggy versus her peggy knows how powerful she is she knows how much she's worth other people can't really put her down in that way but it really does affect uh whitney frost and makes her kill because of it like people make one mistake around her or something and she's got to get them killed anybody that's a little suspicious of her or knows anything about her and she sends someone after them to get them killed. Plus, she's like super manipulative with Chadwick. So yeah, sometimes seeing a really sad backstory from a villain, you can like kind of root for them in some ways. Not here with, with Whitney. I'm not getting that. Unless she was like doing something to Bud from back then because that guy was messed up in the head. Getting that kind of revenge might feel good, but like, but no, what she's doing now is like power tripping. At the same time, there's also something going on with Wilkes where he's seeing a crack in the dimension, calling to him. Not maybe in the same way that it was sucking, like Agent Coulson fits into it in season four of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because it hasn't like drawn him in like that yet, where he has to like hold on and really fight for his life to stay. But he said it was like calling to him, like he's trying hard mentally to stay put with Peggy, but not really like physically having to hold on. So that's interesting. It's like a... A little different than uh, what was happening in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But I'm guessing as maybe Whitney's power grows, it is going to break Wilkes more and more and call to him. Maybe those two things have nothing to do with each other and it's just his time spent there that's giving up. It's giving away. I also really like them showing off Peggy's backstory here before 
Captain America one, how she got into the involved with like the military. And it makes sense that not just some like random person actually wanted a woman on the battlefield or anything out as like a secret agent or spy, but it was her own brother. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I had no idea she was about to have a completely different life too. That is insane. But yeah, anyways, good stuff this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts on it down below. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Hit the join button if you want to watch early episodes of certain shows on the channel. And I think that's about it for now. I'll see you guys in the next Agent Carter very soon.